Sorry. Welcome back to another PlayStation news video. Uh, like I said before, I was doing uh, gameplay footage, or well, I had Breath of the Wild 2 trailer playing, but this time, like I said in the last video, my webcam is having issues, and I'll have to mess with it another time. So anyway, let's get on with the video. So PlayStation, PlayStation Plus, first released back in 2010 which several years later followed by PlayStation Now. Earlier this week, Sony Interactive Entertainment Worldwide Studios, or just Sony, announced that it is releasing a big update to subscription services PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now. Both PlayStation Plus and PS Now are being merged into a single subscription service. It will be released in three separate tiers. The first tier is called PlayStation Plus Essential, which is basically the same as PlayStation Plus currently it is which is available for $59.99 US a year. Subscribers will continue to have access to two game downloads a month at no additional charge, discounts exclusive to the PlayStation Plus streaming service, cloud saves backups, and access to an online multiplayer. The next tier is PlayStation Plus Extra, which is $99.99 or $100. Features Features on the first tier will also be included into this one. On top of that, subscribers will be able to download around 400 games on both PlayStation 4 and 5. Finally, PlayStation Plus Premium offers much more, as well as features from the two previous tiers. This is going to be available for $119.99, or just $120. Fans will be able to play over 700 games, including the ability to stream PS3 titles, the ability to stream and download PS1 and PS2 games, the ability to stream games on PS4, PS5, and even PC, and, and play time trials for third-party games. Uh, see, I don't know what to really think of this service. I'm probably just going to stay... I would still want to stay subscribed to PlayStation Plus for now. I'm probably just going to use the base subscription. Because I really don't want to pay $120. I'm probably not going to pay for a lot of these things. I don't know. Although it would be nice to play like PS1 and PS2 games. I, I just think they Sony should have done a better job at this. At least with the pricing. But it is what it is. And a lot of this is kind of a little confusing when you read all this at once. Yeah, so I don't know what to think about the service. For now, I'm going to continue. I, I want to continue my subscription. Um, I actually... I think it's about to expire soon. Uh, about three or four months. I mean, I got, still got time. I'll just check on that later. But when this comes out, I'm probably just going to keep the base subscription. Yeah, so... I don't know. I mean, Nintendo Switch Online is almost just as bad, honestly. Even though I'm subscribed to that, but that's a lot cheaper. And I also want to be able to play the N64 games. That's why I got the Plus expansion back. Yeah, so... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it's also weird that we're not going to get PS3 games on PS4, PS5. Yeah, I get that, you know, oh, the code, and I'm not a programmer, but yeah, I know I've read this like, oh, the coding, the programming was really hard on PS3. I, I get that, but um, something that uh, Rich from the Review Tech USA said, if the modding community can do it at no, you know, without making any money off of it. Why can't Sony? It's just, now they did say like down the road, you know, something could change, but I don't know. And why is there no first party games coming to the service? That That's kind of stupid. It, on launch day, I should say. I, I think that's dumb. So I just don't think this is the answer to Xbox Game Pass or PC Game Pass. But it is what it is. Uh, I know looking at you, Nintendo, your service isn't that much better. It, well, it's not much It's not much better. It's not much worse. But I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Let me know what you guys think. I'll have the links down uh, in be below if you want to read the PlayStation blog. Also, I got a lot of this information from Review Tech USA. So check out his video as well. Shout out to him. That's all I got time for today. I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.